top 10 warzone loadouts let's get straight into this if you enjoy subscribe and leave a like i'd really appreciate it apologies if i sound a little bit off i do actually have covid right now but the first weapon is going to be the type 11 which is basically the bren's replacement so as you guys know, the Bren actually got a nerf, and this weapon has pretty much replaced it. So a lot of the attachments on here, the optic, the stop, the rear grip, the underbarrel, the barrel, are all going to increase the accuracy. The most important attachment on this weapon is going to be the barrel, because it basically makes it so the damage does not diminish over range. So it does the same damage at any range, which is very OP. So the barrel is the most important attachment to make this weapon good. All of the other attachments just help with the accuracy and the mobility. Let's get into the next one, which is going to be the MP40. This is one of those weapons that's very new but friendly. Pretty much anyone can use this weapon and do good with it. So the most important attachments are going to be the muzzle, which is going to increase the fire rate, the barrel, which is going to actually increase the damage range and the limb damage. And then you want to use the final magazine, which is also going to increase the damage. And then you want to use hollow point, which is going to increase the limb damage. So all four of those attachments combined make this weapon one of the best close range weapons and it has an incredibly quick time to kill at the moment. All of the other attachments basically just increase the mobility and the accuracy. Let's get into the next one which is the Cold War PPSH. This is actually my favourite SMG in the game at the moment and these are the attachments you want to use. Now pretty much all of these attachments increase the accuracy, the recoil control and the mobility and then you want to use the 71 round drum which is going to give you 71 bullets you can literally clear a whole squad in one magazine next up we have the stg 44 which is basically the old reliable assault rifle it's basically like the mp40 anyone can do good with this weapon even if you're new so these are the attachments you want to use the barrel the muzzle the under barrel the rear grip the sight the stock all increase the accuracy and then you want to make sure you also use vital which is one of the most important attachments on this weapon because it increases the damage to the upper torso let's get straight into the next weapon which is going to be the bar or the bar whatever you guys want to call it let me know down in the comments by the way what do you call this weapon is it the bar or is it the bar this is actually my favourite assault rifle at the moment, the damage on this thing is incredibly high. You basically just want to make it have very very good recoil, so everything that you stick on this weapon pretty much just increases the recoil control. The barrel, the muzzle, the underbarrel, the rear grip, the optic, the stock, and also the perk, they all increase the recoil control, making this weapon a very accurate weapon. Usually, without these attachments, it does have a lot of recoil, but if you stick all of these attachments on, it has very, very little recoil, basically doesn't have any, and the most important attachment on this weapon is to make sure you have a BMG magazine, which is going to actually increase the damage, making this weapon have a very good time to kill at all ranges. Next up, we have pretty much the most accurate weapon in the whole entire game at the moment, the Automaton. Pretty much everyone is using this at the moment because it literally doesn't have any recoil. All of the attachments you see right now pretty much all increase the recoil control. I would definitely recommend using this class because it's super accurate and pretty much anyone can do good with this. Next up we have the Swiss K3-1. This is the best sniper in the game and it will be for a very very long time. All of the new snipers are pretty rubbish in my opinion but this is still the best sniper. Pretty much most of these attachments increase the ADS time, it has very good ADS, very good bullet velocity and it is the best sniper. Next up we have the Cooper Carbide and a lot of people were using this as a close range SMG, however I would personally recommend using it as a sniper support medium to long range weapon instead. This is the build right here, a lot of these attachments basically increase the accuracy and the damage range making it a very very good sniper support weapon so if you're using a sniper stick this as your secondary and you won't regret it. The next weapon in this video is going to be the OTS9 which is basically the king of SMGs, this thing has been the best SMG for the longest time. Everyone is still using this and it has one of the fastest time to kills, it's got great mobility, there's literally nothing I can say that is bad about this weapon. You want to use the Grue Suppressor for the accuracy and the damage range, the Task Force for the mobility and damage range, the Tiger Team Spotlight for the mobility, the 40 round magazine and the Skeletal Stock for the mobility. Very good class, great mobility and it's one of the best SMGs in the game. 
The final weapon in this video is going to be the Owen Gun, which is probably my, you know, top three SMGs at the moment. This is a very underrated weapon, it has a very, very good time to kill, and I would strongly recommend using it. So, there's three important attachments, or four important attachments on this, the muzzle, the barrel, the magazine, and the ammo type. They pretty much all increase the uh, damage. Or the fire rate, just like the MP40, increasing the damage and the fire rate makes this thing very good and it has a very good time to kill. It's definitely going to be meta as soon as people start using it a lot more. But yeah, make sure to follow for more, subscribe for more, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.